Hey YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gammon. So today we're going to be fixing this dent in my tailgate here. So it's been a long time coming but I've done a lot of work around this house and garage and I'm at the point where I'm happy to start working on my car here. So yeah, one thing that I uh, did come in today was the lighting. So that's actually pretty awesome lighting that I've got there. I've got a couple of other ones there and there. So we actually do have quite good lighting. Um, maybe one day down the track I'll look into getting some batten lights, but for now, this one's portable so I can sort of move that around as I wish. I've also got those high powered LEDs on the roof as well. And yeah, anyway, let's get stuck straight into it. So what I've done, um, I started off by removing this trim here. So we've got access to the inside and we do actually have pretty good access there. I'll be able to get my arm in there and maybe a screwdriver or something to just sort of push up that line. And hopefully the rest of that dent will sort of pop up behind it. But we're just gonna have to see how we go. Um, full disclosure, I'm not a panel beater. I'm just a spray painter. So I can sort of hold my own, but I'm not an expert on the panel side of things, but we'll see how we go. All right, so one of my subscribers actually recommended PDRing it. And what he did say was to give it a bit of a heat up with a heat gun first. So. I thought I would give that a shot. So let's just get a little bit of heat into it. Well, that was a good little bit that just popped up. This bit here has gone a little bit too far, but not exactly professional tools, but it's working. <laughs> Back end of a screwdriver. This is where I got to after my first attempt. It's definitely not perfect. Um, it's getting late in the, in the week. It's actually Friday afternoon, so I'm gonna sleep on it. I'll probably come back and try a bit harder tomorrow, but um, look, honestly, I, I could nearly tap down some of those high spots and fill it up um, at this point, but um, I probably will have another go at it in the morning. Pretty damn cool hammer this one from AMH Canada. They sent it out, they said it's like a high-end hammer, so yeah, just thought I'd give you guys an up close look at it. it. It feels like it's for PDR, but like knocking it down, I don't have the rods to push it up, so I think, yeah, it's really hard for me to actually get in there and get any leverage. Um, but I'll give you guys a look at where we got to. And look, I'm just about at the point where I'm like, you know what, it's not perfect, um, but I reckon it'll probably be good enough. We'll pick the rest up with some filler. Um, I've actually got some UV filler. Again, that actually came from AMH Canada too, but I've got the Nuva body filler, the um, UV body filler. But I'm gonna do that in the morning. It's Friday night and it's late, so um, yeah, we'll continue on with this job tomorrow. Hey, get down. So as it turned out, between that previous clip and this clip here, I ended up actually getting COVID. So that's why I've been a little bit delayed on the videos. Um, I know I'm a little bit late to the party with COVID, but our lockdown seemed to have worked. But yeah, we are out of lockdown now and COVID seems to be out of the bag. Go, 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 go. Come on, you gotta go. Bye. So there, let's kick my dog out so that she doesn't go and breathe in all these nasty fumes and back on with the job. So what you see me doing here is just getting that ruler just to make sure there's no high spots. We can deal with low spots with a little bit of filler, but as long as there's no high spots, we should be all good. That's so why I'm just grabbing that ruler, just like any straight edge I guess would work, um, and just running it over the edge to make sure there's no high spots there. So. As you can see there, the body filler that I'm using is the UV cured body filler. It is really amazing stuff that. So yeah, it's cured by the UV light. And I've actually got the light here at home. I'm, I'm so lucky uh, over the years I've amassed quite a fair few tools of the industry. 
And um, yeah, I've actually got two UV lights. So I've got one at work and one at home now. I'm lucky. So um, Spectratech is the name of the brand of the light that I have at home. And I was actually speaking to Izzy, the guy that um, works for AMH Canada, which is where I've got it. And he was saying that their light cures their filler the best because it hits two different wavelengths. Like, I can't remember exactly what they were, but it's like 395 and 695 or something like that. So that's why it seems to get the better cure on their body fillers. But look, all of that aside, that's all technical details that I don't really even need to know. All I know is their light and their body filler work great together. 20, yeah, 1 minute and 27 seconds, as you can see there, that entire tailgate. So it's a reasonable size section, and look, truth be told, I probably could have done it in less time than that, but still, like, one and a half minutes to have until you're sanding, pretty much. But one thing about the, uh, the UV fillers is that they get, like, a little bit of a slimy layer on the top. Um, now, what you're meant to do is use the UV... Um, chemical and you spray it over the top and it removes that top slimy layer but I don't have that chemical at home so I just grab the back edge of a razor blade and like physically remove that top layer and then I start sanding. Um, you can also use like an old piece of sandpaper first so that's another thing that works but yeah this is actually like I think it was like day one or day two of my mandatory isolation so here in Australia um, you know, we, we obviously didn't get as hard hit by COVID as many other places do in the world. So we're kind of probably a little bit delayed, to be honest. Uh, but we still actually have to isolate um, when you've got COVID. So I'm stuck here for a whole week at my house. So I'm like, beautiful. As you see me cranking the tunes, like loving it, dancing away and that. Um, living life to the fullest, mate. But it just, look, nobody wants COVID, right? But... It couldn't have happened at a better time. It happened at a time when I'd literally just got everything I needed to paint my tailgate. So it was like, yeah, it was a week at home and it kind of sucked that you weren't allowed out. But it's like I was ordering food online. I was doing all this stuff. And as you see there, I got my tailgate repaired. So look, this video here is a little bit of a shorter one. We've just been focusing on the repair stage. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and be sure to stick around. I'm going to have the primer and prep and paintwork video coming up very soon. But as I say, just a short vid for you guys this week because COVID did muddle up my schedule. But either way, we should be back into a weekly video from now on. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further, you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favorite is those spray suits. So they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it there's also hats drink coolers hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested